He's not Chad, but he'll do. By the end of the day, Ivy will have Kay out of Fox's life, and I'll have what I want. Me and it. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but you haven't seen the latest version of the Steel Acquisition Report, have you? Uh, yes, I have. There's a copy of it in my outbox. Why? Oh, I just want to go through it again. The latest strategy is just absolutely brilliant. You think so? Talk about thinking outside the box. You wouldn't know who wrote it, would you? I wrote it. Wow, it's... Great, nice work. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. It's probably way out of line for me to say this, but the only thing I would have done differently is wait till after the new year to pitch it. You know, once they've got their year and numbers out of the way, they might tend to view our numbers a little more favorably. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't thought of that. You're right, though. You're right. So that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll wait till the end of the year to pitch it. Huh. Well, thank you, Valerie. You know, Chad's a lucky guy. Oh, no, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, we tried that, but it just no, didn't work. No, I, I, I didn't mean that. What I meant was he's, he's lucky to have you as an assistant. That's what I meant. You're lucky, too. <laughs> Kay's very bright, if a little green still. I mean, only a novice would have made a mistake like she did on the Singapore deal. Yeah. Well, you know, she's usually very careful with everything. That's, that's what kind of throws me about that. But um, I've decreased her workload a little bit. She, she's gonna be great. I mean, she's, she's bright, she's gonna be wonderful. She's just new, so you gotta give her a little break, you know? Then you're doing a lot of the work yourself. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't mind. You know, if something goes wrong, I know who to blame. <laughs> I guess. But think about all the time you waste doing work someone else should be doing while you make all the creative decisions. Well, that's the trade-off, yeah. I don't mean to be pushy, but I've got a lot of free time on my hands with Chad working from home so much. Mm -hmm. Chad's still working from home, is he? Yeah, he can't always find a babysitter for miles. Right. Anyway, you know, if you ever need any help, you can just shout. Shout your way. Well, thank you, Valerie. I really appreciate it, but I don't understand. Why would I take you into my confidence if, if you're on Chad's team? You mean that ridiculous competition Alistair Crane set up between you? Mm -hmm. That's between you and Chad. I'm Switzerland and all that. Completely neutral. You know... To tell you the truth, I think you and I think more alike than Chad and I do. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay. So do this. T take a look at these. Tell me what you think of that. I'm honored you care. <laughs> I would concentrate on number three. Maybe even make it your first point. Without agreement on that, the rest won't even work. Number three. Huh. I like the way you think. I'm flattered. Nice fix. I like that. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, honey. Hey. Hi. Hey. I finished that job you gave me to do. Thank you. Is that right here? Wow, nice color coding, Kay. Looks good. Thanks, Valerie. That means a lot coming from you. Hey, I didn't know that uh, you were working with Fox on this uh, steel acquisition proposal. Oh, I hope I wasn't stepping on anyone's toes. Well, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I, you know, like you said before, there, there's no competition between you two, so, <laughs> I mean. What a relief. I would hate to step on anyone's no, toes. No, believe I've got so much work. There's plenty of work for both of you. In fact, Okay, if you don't mind, could you give me a cup of coffee? Yeah, a sure. Type. Valerie, do you, do you want... Oh, sure, I'd love one. It's okay. All right. Cups of coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay? No sugar in mine, please. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, you just put that over there. We'll serve ourselves. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 look who's here. You're kidding me. What a surprise. What's up, baby girl? How you doing? Well, we were in the neighborhood, and you know how Indora loves to see Fox. Well, the feeling is mutual. Well, how are ya? You? You're so good with kids on top of everything else, Fox. Oh, well, she's special, aren't ya? Oh, my God, what's wrong with this? <laughs> oh, stop! Oh, oh, my God! What's wrong with you, Kay? This coffee pot is broken! No, no, coffee pot looks fine to me. 
Hey, I think your hand must have slipped. You, you spilled that on yourself. No, I didn't do anything. That's not me. The coffee pot just went crazy on me or yeah, something. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. Look, I mean, this stuff happens to everybody, right? Uh, I'll be happy to pick up the, uh, the tab for your dry cleaning. Uh, it's That's... not that. It... Never mind. You know, that spot's gonna come right out. Yeah, I hope so. I'm a mess. I, I need to go change. All right. <sighs> oh, my God! Ooh. Oh. Uh, come on. Here we go. Careful, careful. Okay, oh. you got it. There we go. Just a little... You all right? Uh, yes, but I don't know why I just tripped. Well, like I said, you're just having one of those days, obviously. You know, it happens to all of us. Isn't that right, Kay? Absolutely. Right. <sighs> Damn it! Hey, what's your language, miss? There are innocent that lives here. Oh, but it wasn't me being clumsy. Something made me fall. Your feet, maybe? No, it wasn't my feet, Miss Lennox. Something made me trip. Well, I think the important thing here is that no, uh, no one got hurt. <clears throat> You know what? You're right. I'm just gonna go clean up. Okay. Uh. Oh, where was I?